<laughs> oh, hey, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Welcome to Barlow Barbecue. Caught me uh, cleaning out the grill here. Wait a minute, is it Saturday already? Oh no, it must be, that's why you're here. It's Saturday, I completely forgot about a video this week. I totally, I don't have anything planned. But I did see Martha inside rifling through the fridge and the freezer. So I'm thinking she's got something in mind that she's gonna do today. So let's go up to the pool patio and see what she's put together. All right, here's what we dug out of our refrigerator and freezer. We have some potato buns, a jalapeno, some extra sharp sliced white cheddar cheese, some bacon, and one lone chuck eye steak. So now this chuck eye I think would make some delicious burgers. So we're gonna use the grinder attachment on our KitchenAid and make sliders. So to get this thing started, we gotta go grind the steak up. All right, here's our meat grinding station. We have our KitchenAid, it's a classic, all set up for grinding meat. Now this is not a how to set up your KitchenAid video because I tell you it was trial and error, but you could probably do it, figure it out or watch another video on that. But we are gonna make some amazing sliders. So before I grind anything, the first thing I'm gonna do is pour some liquid ambition. Now we have this giant, the most giantest bottle of Woodford Reserve that we got for the holidays. So we'll just have a little of that. Splash and splash and a splash. That dang bottle is so big, it barely even fits on the, the camera. I know, I feel, like a, I feel like I'm an Alice in Wonderland every time I use this bottle. Cheers, thanks sweetie. Cheers. All right, so I'm gonna grind everything up in the steak, fat and all, we're just gonna drop it in there. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so this is only my second time using this thing. There it goes, looks like it's gonna work. <laughs> oh look, here it comes. Coming out. Yeah. Doesn't that look great? Anyway, I'm gonna feed these through until we're all done grinding the steak. And then I'll meet you back at the burger making station. Okay, we got our ground up chuck eye steak here with a little bit of bourbon in there. We're just gonna add a little bit of this salt, pepper, garlic in there as well. I'm not gonna mix it up too much, just a good little toss. Now I was gonna weigh these out, but that seems super anal, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it on the cutting board. So I'm just gonna kinda, I think we're trying to make six of them. All right, so here's our little square. And I'm just gonna go cut it in half, cut it in thirds. Perfect. And you can leave them square if you want to or make them into little circles. These are gonna be great. And here they are, the most delicious little burgers. Now I'm gonna go put these in the refrigerator to keep them cold while we go make our bacon and chop up our jalapenos and all that sort of stuff, behind the scenes magic. And we'll meet you back at the grill when we're ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, this is up to wicked hot. Now I highly recommend waiting a good 20 minutes before you start your grill so you can grill on wicked hot, especially for beef, so you can get a good sear. Whew, it is hot. Now we have a cast iron plate, skillet, whatever here, and I put a little bit of this olive oil spray on it. I'm gonna put actually just a little bit more. Make sure we're gonna get a good sear on these burgers. Here are our burgers. Now these have been in the fridge while I set all of our bacon up and the such. So I sliced jalapenos and fried bacon actually in our air fryer and it's great. But here's our burgers. So they're cold from the fridge, which is great. And I'm gonna put some more of this salt, pepper, garlic shake that we made. A little more of that on top. And that's what you want to hear. Holy Toledo, these are going to be fantastic. Now, I don't think I'm going to close the lid because I don't want to hurry the cooking, so I'm just going to wait. 
about a minute and a half to two minutes and give them a flip. And I'll see you then. All right, folks, it's been a minute and a half, and let's give these little guys a flip. Oh, yeah. These look so perfect. I'm going to always grind my own teeth from now on. Look at them. Okay, at this point, we're going to add our cheese. And look, these cheese slices are just perfect for these burgers. And I think I'm going to add our perfect bacon now, too. Just look at that. We cooked it in the air fryer, for crying out loud. That thing's just amazing. Look at those. Those are going to be lovely. I'm going to close the lid for the final 30 seconds. See you soon. All right, it's been a minute. Let's take a look at our little burgers. Ooh, these look great. Those are looking great, sweetie. I tell you what, now I'm just gonna turn these burners off and push these to the side. Now if you're a cardiologist, don't look. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, we're closing the lid. And we're just gonna give it one more minute and we're gonna be ready to build some burgers. Last but not least, we have our final addition to our sliders today, our fresh jalapenos, some dill pickle slices we found in the fridge, and our not so secret sauce we're making today, which is Duke's mayonnaise, some Worcestershire sauce, and our favorite, Tabasco Chipotle. These are gonna be fantastic. All right, let's get these suckers off here and make some dinner. Like these look great. I'm so excited for these. Just gonna pile them on up. Put them over here on our little tray. And try not to drop any on the ground while you guys watch at home. But that would be kind of funny. Somebody would get upset because we'd still eat it. Okay, we're gonna get the rest of these bottoms off. Holy Toledo, look at how great these look, guys. I am sorry that, whole oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. I'm so sorry that you guys aren't us right now because we're gonna eat these, but you could be too if you made them. All right, let's go. Dang, your buns look good, sweetie. I know, honey. Woo-wee. Thanks. Good looking buns. Mm. All right, what do you think? We should put some not-so-secret sauce in the bottom of those buns. A little bit of that sauce on there. Yeah, we're gonna put some on the bottom. Just a little. Mm -hmm. And I think some pickles. Now, I tell you, this camera makes my wrists look enormous. I don't mean to be vain, but gosh, they just don't look that way. There's a pickle on each one. All right, let's add a burger. That bacon looks really good for being done in the air fryer. Oh my goodness. I feel like the <laughs> air fryer just blesses everything with oh, just deliciousness. Let's start doing some air fryer videos, y'all. We'll see. Mm -hmm, 2022. <laughs> All right. And I think just a little more sauce. So delicious. Oh. <gasps> You know what? I forgot one more amazing thing. If they could be any more amazing, here they are sitting right here. Those are jalapenos. Holy Toledo. To think that these could be any more perfect. But I think the crunch of these raw jalapenos is gonna be fantastic. And last but not least, here he is. Okay, <laughs> we'll meet you back at the tasting table. Who knew we had so many tables? Well, all right, y'all, I am excited to try out these sliders. Look at these. These are little works of art right here, sweetie. Holy moly, look at <laughs> nice what we job. made out of our freezer. Yeah, this is really good for just uh, really not knowing what we were gonna do this yep. week. Uh, and it 
became fantastic. Here and you are. can make fantastic things too, just from the dregs at the bottom of your freezer. Yeah, you just never know if you just look around and get a little creative, you never know what you can come up with. Speaking of dregs, if you are watching this on New Year's Day and mm -hmm. you're saying goodbye to 2021, <sighs> um, goodbye. Cheers to you guys. On to a new and wonderful year together. <laughs> oh, and barbecue too. Mm -mm -mm. Very most. Well, that was delicious. I really, we really do wish you all a happy and a wondrous 2022. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit better than the last couple of years, right? So, uh, well, if this is what honestly, we're bringing in the new year with, my how expectations can it be aren't that high, but given the last couple of years, they don't need. You know, wait, wait, just one minute. I was reading this thing about adulthood. As okay. We these things. Adulthood. You can Getting cut this if philosophical you want. Yes, now. It's, yes, right. Just a minute on these burgers. They, they, we, they've waited this long. So I was reading yeah. about how how to be happy in adulthood, you know, uh -huh. and I and I really think you should keep the adulting to the bare minimum. But it mm -hmm. said to lower your expectations. Now, instead of thinking that as a sad thing, let's think of that as a glad thing and let's lower our expectations for 2022 and it'll be okay. That's right. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> That's my motto, y'all. Lower those expectations, <laughs> y'all. Cheers. Mm-mm. But I have pretty high expectations for these. Well, I have low expectations, right? Yeah, lower them. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dang good. That's real good. Mmm. Speedy. Wow. You nailed these. These are spectacular. Yep. If I do say so myself. No, I say so as well. Especially for freezer mm. burgers. These are like the, probably the best burgers I've had. Maybe uh, ever. Uh, I mean, well, it is a steak. Well, mm. these are so good. I mean, the flavor of that beef with the chuck roast that we ground up, that's on par. That's legit. I love the crispy bacon in there. Delicious. And the, the crunch of the jalapeno and the bacon together is perfect. And there's a nice little slight crunch with these buns that Martha perfectly... Perfectly. Uh, I don't know what you say. Put on the griddle there. I mean, these are these are really Fried good. Fried oh, These grease. are really good. Mm. Again, if you're a cardiologist. And know. with that special secret sauce on there, mm. gives it mm. a nice little creaminess. Just brings it all together. Dang. A little pickle in there because you got to have mm. some pickle. Mm. Now I knew that these sliders were going to be out of sight. Mm -hmm. But this is this is out of sight. Out of sight. This is like way beyond the. Line of sight over yes. the horizon. There's no sight involved. Yeah. Blinded by how delicious these mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, y'all. These sliders were incredible. Thank you so much, sweetie. Cheers to you. Hey, cheers to you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Hey, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. And here's to 2022. 2022, despite whatever expectations you may have, we lower hope them. No, we hope. Oh, that's sorry. A good, we hope that it's a good one for you. That's right. And we're looking forward to a brand new year of cooking together with you all at home. And so we're hoping that you're going to join us. And we always appreciate you coming by every weekend. Thank you so much. We love you. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. Oh, All right. that's right. And Happy New Year. Cheers, y'all.